Konnichiwa YouTube, this is Green Dog Chef here bringing back another How to Siege and today in this video we're going to be playing Habana and Echo, two very very good op it, operators from Japan. Going on to Habana's loadout we have the Type 89 which is a very strong assault rifle. It has quite a low capacity um, in its mag but it makes up for it with the insane recoil pattern which as you can see down there it's extremely bunched and not that big it also has quite a high damage rate for an assault rifle especially with 850 fire rate as well so I'm looking forward to play that playing that with you um, today also we have the supernova which is 32 damage which isn't that great but it's a pump action shotgun so close to medium range that will down and kill your enemies quite well going on to the secondaries we have the PP now the P229 handgun which is 50 damage uh, which is insanely high for a semi-automatic pistol and it has 12 capacity quite a high recoil pattern it's um it's a powerful pistol I'll just say that we also have the bearing 9 machine pistol I'll be using that today for the pure reason that it is a machine pistol and they beat normal pistols any day of the week going on to gadgets we have stun grenades and claymores and I might swap that up we do not know if you don't know what our ability is it's a little like um pump sticky glue gun thing that shoots these three little discs out onto the walls and it destroys anything really any reinforced walls any wood any doors and it blows nice little uh, holes in there it's shots contain three of the little gooey lodges and each of them three shots you also have three ammo for it uh, going on to Echo, who also has a unique and good loadout, we have the MP5 SD submachine gun. I quite like this. It has 800 fire rate, 29 damage, 30 capacity. The recoil is not bad at all, and it comes with a built-in suppressor like the Honey Badger, if any of you guys know that gun from any other games. We also have the Supernova, again the pump action shotgun, and we'll be trying to use both of them weapons on each of the operators today. We also have the Bearing 9 and the P229 pistol, but I think I'll be using the Bearing 9 again because it's a... It's a machine pistol, it's just really fun to use, but if we do get bored of that, we can switch to the P229 to give you guys a little showcase of that as well. We're going on to the deployable shield and the barbed wire for gadgets. If you don't know what Echo's ability is, it's a little drone that can turn invisible, fly up into the air, um, and it shoots these supersonic blasts out, which distorts your enemy, and it is horrible to play against. Anyway guys, let's get into a game, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hi guys, we have finally got a game. And we are on our we are on the snowy house map chalet or chalet however you like to pronounce that, and they are indeed upstairs. We are playing her banner for the first cheeky little round, and uh, we are playing with the type eighty nine. Let's chuck a, ch chuck a few drones out there. My pronunciation is terrible today. Not like it's much better in general. And let's just have a cheeky little peek to see if anyone's here, such as that little dickhead right there. We don't like Pulse upstairs, he's a massive nonce. Um, probably shouldn't be saying that on YouTube. And let's just hide around. And maybe work our way up to see if Pulse is going to be a naughty boy. No, but we do have a naughty boy over here. And that's one kill there for the a banner, it was a nice little headshot obviously, and as you can see that 855 with that no recoil really comes into great action at long range to medium range assaults. I'm actually sort of worried now of where that pulse is, I know where he is now. I have been spotted, where is the camera? Oh you cheeky nonce. I need to stop saying that word. And I think we're going to try and find a different way up. Because the pulse may... This is this where it starts to get a bit more intense. And now I've been seen by another camera and people are spotting me and knowing where I am. Please move thermite. You've got donkey bollocks. Oh, I've just been shot by my own teammate. We haven't got to use her banners. 
Oh, where is this guy? Yeah, I thought it was in basement. So oh. Just... Well, that's going to be a very simple kill then. And that is the round, guys. We'll get on to the next one. Moo ha ha ha. We are on the second round after the triumph of the first one, and we're actually in quite a nice position here as well. Um, there's one thing that is quite amusing. I'm going to use this as a bit of a bait, I think, actually. Is half of their team left, and then they entered again. Um, but obviously not the same place because we're playing casual, so they can't just re-enter. So they've had a bit of a team reboot, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And I'm playing Echo, and I'm using the suppressed MP5 sort of deal here. And um, my plan is to hide around here, sort of hope no one comes in this way, and use my Echo drone back here. Oh, not there, because we're on the edge, about there. Use my Echo drone there to just defend. And then obviously run out and kill them. And I think Echo would be a much better operator if he was. Oh god, they're coming straight at us. And I don't think they're coming from this area either. I think they're all going to be coming from the same area. What the fuck? Oh wow, okay. So. Sledge is not. Sledge didn't see me and somehow that was very lucky. I'm actually sort of scared now. I'm the last operator standing and I highly doubt I'll be able to pull off an ace here. But we can always give it a go. Oh, that was terrible. I'm actually shitting it now, guys. Oh god, the intensity is real. My heart's pounding. Fuse can fuse this room as much as he wants, he's not gonna get me. Whew. The possibility of actually being able to pull this off is not all that bad anymore. If I can clutch this round, I'd be quite happy, but I'm not betting on it. One up, four remaining. Bomb diffuser in place. I actually have a little plan here. That very possibly might make me run out of time. But if I can do it... That would be a great victory. Located the diffuser, destroy it. Oh, unfortunately, I couldn't get that. I, honestly, I think if one more bullet hit him in the head, I would have killed him there. We'll get on to the next round, guys. That last round sort of put it in perspective for me. Is I just have to deal with these type of people in this game, and it just suck balls. Um. My plan is to go through the garage, but they do have a bandit, I thought, I think I saw. So that might not happen. Nope, that will not happen. So I guess I'll run round, because I was going to have banner charge it, but without a Thatcher, that's going to be impossible. Get the little micro SMG out. I'm actually probably going to be using the micro SMG more than the actual uh, SM, more than the actual shotgun. I mean, I can't be certain, but it is a bit of a better weapon, really, in my opinion. My professional opinion of this game. Which isn't professional at all. Let's get round, see if he's still down there. I mean, I probably shouldn't have scanned him there.
Oh, Capcan just got me and I didn't see him at all. To be honest, I probably should have drowned again. But at the end of the day, it's this team isn't uh, <laughs> as competent as I hoped they would have been. But we still have four of them, they have four, so there is a possibility. Hopefully it just won't be a recruit. There we go, that's one down by the Ash, which is a good little piece of play there. I am sort of good that I couldn't clutch that last round, to be honest. It is... It's going to haunt me. Please tell me you saw that ash. It's a three versus three now. There you go. Please just take your time. There we go. I don't really understand why um, <coughs> suppressors are using anything but secondaries, but in cases like that, it did work out massively in their favour. And we won that round as well. Let's get on to the next one, guys. Okay, so this is possibly the last round. And the only reason I have um, not got the Nova on is because I used it on the, the Supernova. I used it on the last round. And I didn't actually use it, but it was equipped, and that's enough for me. And it's not really a favourite shotgun for me. And after getting four kills with this epic little piece of weaponry, I'm going to be using it again. And we are in the exact same area as well. Which is very, very, very convenient. I use that as bait once again. Um, and I'm sorry, but this has to disappear. So, first of all, I'm going to use the cameras to see if anyone's going to be coming down my way. And I think that is a camera. That shows that we will. And when we get to about three and a half, maybe three minutes, I'm going to. Actually, yeah, now. <laughs> I'm going to decide that no one's actually coming through there. They're all coming through here. I'm going to get a bit close to the edge off the door so I can get a good peek off when someone pops their ugly little mug round and as we can see there are two of them there which just means more peeks for Will if I see that little red circle at all I'm gonna be popping it I'm not going to peek though because it doesn't totally distort your enemies so much that they can just uh, so much that they can't kill you it distorts them just enough and honestly I'm just probably going to right they took out my yokai which sucks That's two kills there for me. And I know that there are more around there. Oh, he managed to get me, but hopefully that'll be enough. I did hit him a little bit as well, and the glass was there. I didn't think I really had a chance. But I hope I think that's going to be enough to win the game, guys. Let's see if we can get a capture of this victory kill. And I think I'm going to be at the top of the leaderboard again. I like this guy's technique. He's going all the way around. Go on, And that is the game, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm not really sure if this video was quick or <coughs> long. <laughs> I'm a bit thrown off today. But that was a good game for me. And it probably would have been better if I clutched the ace. But here we are at the top of the leaderboard. TDM Bomb, 3-1. Grindog Chef, boom. Got quite a lot of points. Did quite well. And tomorrow, we will be finishing off the rest of this season, which is quite exciting. There we are, 9 kills, 1 assist, 3 deaths. Very fun game for me. And we're going to back out because I'm not playing with them retards again. Joking, they only let me down in the second round. That The other two rounds were phenomenal. So, it's quite exciting after we finish uh, this like little series tomorrow i'm going to definitely find something else to do maybe just secondaries or gadget kills etc anyway guys thank you for watching see you soon please subscribe and like if you did enjoy this video